Hello everybody and welcome to SnowRunner. Now in this video you will see the Land Rover Defender 90 attempting King of the Hill North Peak. Now this is a uh, add-on for SnowRunner. It's from the Land Rover Dual Pack. Now just in case you are interested in Land Rover and you wish to buy this Land Rover DLC and I've read some of the comments um, suggesting that this uh, vehicle in game is useless this video is just showing you it going up King of the Hill North Peak in Michigan Black River USA now it has and now I have only got just the all-terrain tires on this vehicle as we go up here now when this DLC was released it, uh, it received quite a lot of criticism now the reason it received quite a lot of criticism is it was useless in game I believe I don't know I didn't buy it when it was released I've only just bought this recently so this could be hearsay I don't know if this is true this is just what I've read on various forums now I now from what people have said due to the vehicle being useless and not doing the Land Rover brand any justice, the game devs quickly tweaked it. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know. Whether or not, you know, it's hearsay, I don't know. So, um, we're going to run this up King of the Hill, North Peak, Michigan, USA, all terrain tyres. I'm not having a great deal of problem getting up here in this vehicle. So, yeah, I believe. It was tweaked shortly after it was released. Hearsay? I don't know. It's just what I've read on uh, the internet from what people have said. The reason I purchased this pack is uh, I am interested in Land Rover. I do actually own a Land Rover myself. And I was actually interested in the Land Rover Defender. Now, there is mods available. Of Land Rover you may wish to or prefer to actually um, go and look for one of them modded Land Rovers but uh, this video we're just showing the uh, Defender 90 going up the uh, North Peak at Black River now the DLC you do actually get to Land Rover Defenders you get the Defender 90 that you actually see here now and you get the next generation the much newer one in the pack as well so what I found with this actual Defender 90 here that it's actually good for slow crawling on cliffs and going up cliffs such as this and uh, going into tight spots it's you know it's pretty fast but uh, when you're going flat out in it it's uh, it's difficult to control One of the more popular things that have been mentioned about this Land Rover is in terms of the engines and gearbox. These have no resemblance or bearing on the high standard that Land Rover um, currently have in the real vehicles. There's no sense of reality regarding how the engine works and how the gearbox operates in game. And also the wheels, a lot of people have mentioned it's a shame that they didn't offer a bigger wheel size um, the wheel options that are available the tyre options that are available for this Land Rover are quite small and a lot of people have mentioned they would have liked to have seen some bigger wheel options made available for this uh, Land Rover pack personally my overall opinion of this uh, vehicle is if they have tweaked it I think they need to tweak it a little bit more and make its off-road capabilities a little bit better. Regarding sounds of the engine, mm, I don't think it's very good. But uh, as you can see, we did make it up here um, quite easily. So um, yeah, that's it. It was just a brief look at the uh, Land Rover Defender 90 going up King of the Hill, Black River, Michigan, USA. North Peak